What's up guys? It's ranked match time on Madden 12. This is my very first game I played. And if you notice, this year when you do quick matches, you don't get to see the person you're playing's record, which I like because now when I see someone who probably has a really good record, I don't get psyched out right away. So, you don't think too much about the record. You just sit down and play a game of Madden. And that's what I'm doing here with my Minnesota Vikings playing against this guy who is the Houston Texans. So I'm getting out of the gate early, giving it to Adrian Peterson for a big first down there. He is unstoppable in this game from what I've seen so far. Then I drop back to pass with Donovan McNabb on third down and unable to get the curl route to connect, so it punts the ball now to the Texans who get going. Andre Johnson, one of the more electric wide receivers in the NFL, he gets going early. I miss a user pick attempt there, and Andre Johnson turns on the burners, and he's going to score a touchdown, putting up the Texans 7 nothing early. I try to answer back, second and nine, hit Michael Jenkins there on the curl, see the hole in the zone there, just pick him apart for 15 yards to Jenkins, a newly acquired receiver, then on second and five, I force a pass, Percy Harvin ran a curl and Michael Jenkins is supposed to get behind him and go in the middle of the field, and I just mistimed the pass, but... I come back just two plays later, interception by EJ Henderson, I get the ball back, and now I get the chance to go tie this game. So I'm giving it to Adrian Peterson, the powerful running back, and I get a big first down up the gut again. You gotta put more guys in the box, man. Give it back to Adrian Peterson. It's just a first down machine when you give him the ball. But he would eventually stop me, and this drive would end in a Ryan Longwell field goal attempt. Snap spot kick is up and good, so it's 3-7 to seven in favor of the Texans, but we're on the board at least. So, four minutes left in the second quarter. Shaw back to pass out of the gun, and it's knocked away by Chad Greenway. So I get the ball back, causing a punt, and I'm going back to my run game. But you see, he's stacking the box, and then look at the left side. He brought over the cornerback. There's no one on the inside. So I just audible, do a quick pass. It starts lagging, and I just throw a deep ball to Bernard Berrien. What are you doing, man? You think I'm blind? Bernard Berrien, easy touchdown. I take the lead 10-7. to And he goes play action. Schaub looking deep again for Andre Johnson, and Winfield is unable to come up with a catch there. And so what do I do? I make an adjustment like a smart player does. I put the taller, better man covering cornerback, Cedric Griffin, on him, and hopefully that helps me out later in the game. But instead he goes to the tight end, Owen Daniels, who gets the first down. And then Schaub out of the gun again, looking over the middle, and it's just knocked away. Should have picked that off. Would have been a clutch interception. But anyways, he's just going to kick it up, and good. So the score is now tied at 10-all. And what I do, I do what I do on NCAA, the design quarterback run, spread out the field, send everybody on streak so I can get some yards, get out of my end zone. And I do that with Joe Webb. And then I take McNabb, and I find an open Percy Harvin, who gets out of the man coverage, and he couldn't get a pass rush on me, so it's an easy first down. And then I go to the jet sweep to Percy Harvin. He cuts it back inside. What a beautiful cut making guys miss. Getting a first down now. Nine seconds left in the half. McNabb back to pass. Looking over the right side, and it's caught by Jamar Johnson. What a clutch reception there. I call a timeout, and I kick up a Ryan Longwell field goal, making this 13-10 at the half. He comes out of the half in the shotgun, empty backfield. Looking over the middle, finds his man for a first down at about my 35-yard line. Another first down by Owen Daniels. Then shot back to pass again. And we're unable to cover Andre Johnson still. He is torching my defense. And then shot back to pass. Looking deep. Andre Johnson, what are we going to learn? we got to cover the man. My coverage schemes were not working. And so I had to switch it up because the Texans now had the 17-13 lead on me. Take McNabb. Find Michael Jenkins. Nice catch. Way to hang on there after t absorbing the big hit. And then I drop back with McNabb. See the hole in the defense. Step up. Thank you for the block, Michael Jenkins. That's why we got him right there. He can run block and he can catch the ball. Thank you, Michael Jenkins, for coming to Minnesota. Adrian Peterson, now he's stopping my running attack, so I've turned into a one-dimensional offense, which you'd never want to do. But my passing game is working for the most part, and he can't get a pass rush on me, so I just take off with McNabb again. He's still got the wheels, even though he's really old now. He's a dinosaur. Then McNabb drops back, looking to the left side. Michael Jenkins, that's all Michael Jenkins right there. I mean, this guy is sick on Madden. I love this guy. Then second and 13, go to the right side. Guess who? Michael Jenkins beats the cornerback. Touchdown, Vikings. We take the lead late in the fourth quarter. It's now 20-17. to 17. 
Then Shaw back to pass. Third down. Come on, stop him. Antoine Winfield tackles Andre Johnson there. Clutch tackle. Fourth and one. And then Shaw back to pass. Coming on the blitz off the edge. Chad Greenway gets the clutch sack right there. We get the ball back. We got to run this clock out. Adrian Peterson having a little more luck on this drive running the ball. We get caught in a third and two situation now. McNabb out of the strong eye formation. Play action, but they weren't falling for it. They sacked McNabb, and I'd have to settle for the field goal. And when we're only up by six, we got to stop him from getting a touchdown. But they find Jacoby Jones there. He gets into the Vikings territory. But we got to play better defense. There's still a lot of time on this clock, but he doesn't have any timeouts. He gets another first down to Andre Johnson just before my 25-yard line. We're narrowing in on the one-minute mark. He finds his receiver, making it second and three, but I get him caught in third and sixth situation. Shaw back to pass. Finds Jacoby Jones, but he's bottled up, only getting two yards in the play, making it fourth and four. Here's what's coming down to. Fourth and four. Shaw finds Andre Johnson, extending the chains. Tick, tick, tick. We got 11 seconds left on the clock now. Shaw looking to the right side, and it's nearly picked off by Antoine Winfield. We got time for maybe one or two more plays. Shab, empty backfield. Go to the end zone. Picked off. Hussein Abdullah. Clutch interception. Sealing the game for the Minnesota Vikings. They sneak out this victory. Six points. 23-17. to McNabb takes a knee. The final ticks on the clock are gone. And the Vikings win. And I win my first online ranked match on Madden 12 in a hell of a game that it was. Good game to Gary C. Gary, I believe that's your name. And so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more entertaining sports commentaries on games like Madden 12 and more. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it to help it get seen and more exposure. So thank you guys for watching the video. This has been my first ranked match commentary on Madden 12. First of many to come. So, I gotta get back to playing Madden now, so peace out guys, hope you enjoyed the video.